Hello again, and welcome to another one of Solo Prime Reviews. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, Megatron, Transformers Prime, Robots in Disguise. This is one of the best figures of Megatron I have. In fact, he's like my new favorite, my new favorite Megatron figure. He is simply awesome, but I don't like the fact that they have this stuff, even though it's supposed to be there, because it's a um, power riser. So anyway, let's get into the figure, or actually, I'll go with the box first. Here we have the Robots in Disguise Megatron Decepticon. Nice picture of him in robot mode right there. Glowing fusion cannon, which we have. Uh, batteries included. Intermediate level. No, level 2, it's not too hard, but still. There we have the Transformers Prime up on top. Off site, he is Voyager Class Series 1. Uh, number 2, I believe Optimus Prime is number 1. Megatron, the subject kind of sign. Nice picture of Megatron right there. Very nice. On the back, we have his whole deal going on. Press and hold convert fusion can to mighty sword. Weapon activates energon glow. Yeah, I'll get into that in a little bit. I have some problems with that. Battle claw included and fusion cannon. Which is the same thing just put on his back. I like to think of the battle claw as um, I don't remember seeing it him use it. I don't like I thought it was um. One of those things that they're hunting for right now on. One of those relics or something like that, but I think I've seen him use it before. I don't remember. Then we have the whole bio right here. Um, I don't know if I'll read it or not. Bas the basic story, you know, of that one episode how Ratchet described the whole thing to him. Megatron began his life as a gladiator built to fight in the brutal darkness of the Kaon Pits. It was there that he learned that the strong survive and the weak perish, and there that he became determined to be the strongest of all. His conquest began there and has since burned its way across the galaxy. I know it's the universe, but galaxy seems like a bigger word for some reason. And then we have the uh, technical data. Strength 10, intelligence 9, speed 8, endurance 10, rank 10, courage 8, fire blast 10, skill 6. I actually compared this to Optimus Prime, and Megatron is higher at everything except for skill. So yeah. Don't know how Optimus Prime could stand to fight Megatron. Megatron's way more powerful than he is. I guess it's because the good prevail. Get that back there. And now I guess we will go on to the directions. Oops. That's my light. Directions. Transformers Prime, Megatron, Septicon. Of course he comes he comes uh in vehicle mode in the uh, when you get him in the box. So, um, I guess this one you should start with would be this one, you just go through all of them. Fairly easy instructions, really great. Nothing, you know, nothing too hard. Most Transformers fans will get it on the first try. There was something in the directions. Well, I guess not. 
that is the directions. Now we can get onto the figure or like the uh, Voyager class figure. I'll clean, clear all this away. So we can come and have a better look at Megatron. Oh yeah, by the way, he does come with two accessories. The claw thing, which just hooks on the side. And then the um, turbo, his uh, turbo laser sword thing. Gotta yeah, press it real hard. See that sword kind of sword comes off. There, I fixed it. You gotta, you gotta constantly fix it. Just like well, that works pretty well most of the time. Okay, for accessories, you can just peg it into the hole right there, and uh, you know, you can be a beast with it, or you can put the claw. There's a hole right here. You just put it on like that. I don't like putting it on because it takes a little while to get off. Or you can put it on the same hand that the gun is on, which is cool. Or put it right here on top of the gun. Either either way, I don't really like using this because you know, it's not one of his things he has all the time with him. Okay. So, oops. That is that. Why? Don't fall over Megatron. Decepticons don't fall over. Yeah, his feet are um kind of hard to uh, place. I'll show you the head sculpt, which is really nice. I think, in my opinion. I have to, uh, it's really awesome. Look at that head. Although the only thing I have is that his head is just a little bit too close to his body I mean he's like a little little head though if he had a taller head he'd be tall as an Optimus Prime but I think they're supposed to be like the same size so yep yeah. oh no fall over again he's trying to fall over yep oh his legs his feet are really really I mean, they, they, they look like they lubricate these things a lot because they like fall over. Nice head sculpt. Nice Decepticon sign. This guy is a beast. Okay, onto the figure. Legs. The legs are a little bit big, it's one of the complaints. These are his feet right here. They see they they move like a lot. I'll give you a 360 overview of Megatron. If I can just get him to stand up. Got a little. He's got a little bit of a backpack on him. I have to use the coins to prop up the camera. Nice front view. Side view. Back view isn't the best. Other side.
and back to the front. Um, yeah, the, the thing that complains now would probably be this backpack right here. Well, not not too much of a backpack, but you know. It, It's like a wings he has on his back. I don't remember seeing him have wings on his back. But I guess they're there for the transformation. The feet are kind of humongous. Pretty big feet. Although he does get lots of articulation in his knees. Now that he has those big gaps in the thing in his big feet. Big legs is what I mean, not big feet. I mean feet are too easy to move. They'd be stiff. Other complaints, yeah, his head. The shoulder pieces are kind of annoying too. I mean, they don't, they're really hard to, on the transformation, they're kind of hard to put in there. And the gun, you have to hold it down, in fact, just to keep the sword out. Which, uh, you get little kids to exercise their fingers. Yep, um, I guess we can go into the transformation. Yep. Oh yeah, and you can also um, peg the gun on here on his back when you're not using it to. Transformation will commence. Even though I transformed him already in the thing just for a stop motion. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Okay, so what you'll do is first you'll... Well, I like to start like this first. First you'll take the legs and just bind them in like that. Take the shoulder pieces. Pull them upwards like that. Get spiky shoulders. I might as well uh, prop this up a little bit. So uh, and now you take, grab the uh, torso part or like the middle bottom part of the torso, pull it down. Take the arms out. And another complaint about this that I have is these right here. You'll see these little pegs right here that they need to uh, they go right into the back of him and if you don't put them in right then when you move his arms they come out and the whole back thing you know jerks so you unpeg those bring this these pull them up and pull that little peg that you put your gun on uh, you get that out it's kind of hard to get this out it wasn't hard before There you go. Might wanna before you put these up, just grab it sideways, not this way, but this way. And put that back like that. That what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the um muscle parts, pull them down right to here to his hips. He's got big hips. Then pull the back part up, like so, all the way. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the shoulder parts, turn them down like this. See, they're really, really hard to move. I guess you can take the arm parts down before you do that, all the way down. get them together and right here you'll see these these things and there's holes in the shoulder or in the arms you just peg those in fold the hands in and actually before you peg them in you might want to uh, turn the arms around I forgot to mention that turn the, the arm parts around so they're like that. Yep, just like that. And these things will peg together. And then you then you um, peg it in right here. Just like that, the back part. All right, that's done. Then what you will do is you'll come around here. You will take this. Right here and flip it back 
so this is like that while keeping this out you take his legs and just fold them all the way back here like that you'll take this right here and move this like so like that on the front we'll get into that later that kind of looks a little weird I'll talk about it later of the transformation you take these these pull them forward get the shoulder pieces out of the way you know just you can just leave them there you can put them together oh that's kind of crooked right now because these stupid shoulder pieces they really make me upset and what you'll do another thing I forgot to mention is that you uh, you don't you don't twist the legs back all the way you just turn this part like that and then you just pull back just like that and then what you'll do with the legs is you take this part pop it out spin it around and under here you'll um, just push it out like that and these gaps right here this shoulder piece goes in here so I just figured that out right there like that nice and snug just put it in like that and then there will be this peg right here and there's a peg under the wing right here that you'll just put that on it's kind of a pain to do oh, I'm trying to get it okay right there like that and then just peg it in Alright, I got it pegged in and then right here on the back of the foot will be a little peg and you peg that right in both these end right there just like that so that is one way and you gotta get the shoulder piece under the wing so that is that part the other side just um, see these the shoulder pieces make the transformation so difficult just take this like that take it out fold the leg back put the shoulder shoulder piece right under there Wait a minute. That's huh? Let me. It doesn't show that part. Whoops! I'm looking at the box to see how this is done. Cause see now, I don't know if it goes in like that or sticks out like that. I do not remember. On the directions, I didn't even remember that being there. I mean, on the directions, I just had the shoulder pieces sticking out. Uh, oh, I'm going to keep it out like that. Because that looks more accurate to the way it was on the box. So then you'll come back and, you know, peg these in. Under the wing. And if you find it difficult to get under the ring, wing, I'm sorry, wing, not ring, you can, um, there's a hole right here. If your pinky is small enough, you can stick it through and push up from the bottom or you can just move the shoulder piece and do it shoulder piece back under and that should be your side of the wing and it transformation is basically done all you gotta do is if you roll it you can put the go on the back kind of hard to take off but I'll do it just for you guys oh yeah and this I forgot to come back to this by the time you're done with the wings it'll everything will be so smooth that you can just peg these together so these won't be uneven or anything yep oh yeah just right
so there he is in vehicle mode or jet mode if that's what you want to call it real it looks awesome except um his real vehicle mode you know the one he really is in or you know in the cartoon see this is kind of bulky it's kind of short and wide where the other one is kind of longer and maybe a little bit more sleeker and wider oh, I'm having a bad day today allergies um yeah that's the only thing and right here too it's a it's a little bit small compared to the real it's 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 short and wide too <laughs> that's why I don't, you know it's, it looks kind of weird but um it's a nice Decepticon emblem right there his head is a <laughs> it's kind of weird if you look at him going up, coming at you he's looking at you yeah and uh, I don't know why he would have a sword while he's flying but it's Megatron. And the shoulder pieces. The biggest thing, if they could change about this, I'd probably want to change the shoulder pieces. Nice detailing. The back is kind of weird to look at. See, they left all these holes and a bunch of space in here. I wonder if that's where the feet are supposed to go. No, the feet can't go back there, so they have to stay like that. So, yeah, there's this, all that room right there. bottom is, you know, it's not that bad in the bottom. Yep, that is Megatron in his vehicle mode. And that's where, oops, that's where you can put this, like, right here if you want. Kind of looks silly. But uh, yep, that's the way it goes. So, nope. Oh, how am I gonna do this? I don't, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Cause that looks like so much like. Because this is like bumpy and it goes up, and you know, this is slim, and you know, well, I, I give props to Hasbro, they did a very good job, probably the best job they could. He was probably a difficult figure to um, sculpt and design, so at least they pulled through. So, yeah, um, thanks for watching my review on the Transformers Prime. Voyager Megatron. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more reviews. Until then, transform and roll out.